We all know Lucy. One of our earliest human ancestors. She was an early Australopithecine that lived 3.2 million years ago. Since her discovery in the year 1974 Lucy has become a household name. And has earned her place as perhaps the world's most famous human ancestor. Although Artie is not so famous as Lucy is. She was an important groundbreaking discovery. Lucy isn't a monkey, she belongs to Australopithecus afarensis species an early hominin approximately 3.2 million years old, which is thought to be our direct ancestor or at least a close relative of an unknown ancestor. Lucy was discovered in 1974 in Ethiopia, Africa. In November 1974 Donald Johansson and his student Tom Gray, while surveying Hadar, in Ethiopia, noticed some bone fragments. They were excited and curious. As they hurried their work they found out more fragments of bones. This was how Lucy was unearthed. Lucy's discovery eclipsed nearly all earlier findings because of the extraordinary completeness of Lucy's skeleton. Making her one of the most important paleoanthropological findings of our time. Initially she was named as AL288-1 however, as the song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds was playing at the set while the team was working on discovering Lucy. She was nicknamed Lucy. She is also affectionately referred to as Desquanch, which means wonderful thing in Amharic, an Ethiopian, language. Lucy's species is known as Australopithecus afarensis. Was a small-bodied female that probably stood about, 107 centimeters, tall and weighed roughly 60 pounds, 27.3 kilograms. She was bipedal. Possesses both ape and human characteristics. Her wisdom teeth were very human-like. The skitten's pelvis reveals that it was a female. After heavy studies on her teeth and the growth of her skeleton, scientists believe that she was an adult around 12 years of age. Scientists are not sure of the cause of her death, as there was no sign of damage on her bones apart from for a single carnivore tooth mark on the top of her left pubic bone. Scientists believe that this could have happened during the time of her death or around the time of her death. However, the cause of her death is still not decided. In 2016, researchers at the University of Texas suggested that she died after falling off a tree. We will be celebrating Lucy's 49th discovering anniversary this year. To date, she remains one of the oldest, most complete Australopithecus afarensis specimens ever found. Artie. Artie older than Lucy. The second remarkable archaeological discovery about human evolution next to Lucy was Artie. Discovering Artie created great controversies among scientists. Some scientists did not accept Artie as a member of the human family, while some did. However, as a result of extensive research Artie is affirmed to be a hominy. Artie was discovered near the Awash River in Ethiopia in the year 1994, by Johannes Haile Selassie. At the time of discovery the skeleton was in extremely fragile statues. So fragile that it would turn into dust at a touch. This extremely fragile nature of the skeleton of Artie took several years to carefully remove the bone fragments from the rock to which it was attached to. Artie means ground floor in a far language. Artie was the root of the family tree of humanity. Scientific dating revealed that Artie lived 4.4 million years ago. Making her more than 1 million years older than Lucy. Artie was found along with animal remains. This indicated that she inhabited a forest environment. This is one controversial Artie created as so far it was thought that bipedalism originated in savannas. Artie had a grasping big toe of a tree climber. And her other four toes displayed anatomy similar to upright bipeds. She climbed trees, but also walked erect on the ground. And it is believed that she did not knuckle walk like modern African apes. Artie's lower pelvis is longer than that of humans. Which led some researchers to argue that Artipithecus mainly climbed in trees and walked slowly with bent knees and hips, or perhaps not at all. Unlike other hominids and living apes, Artie's upper pelvis is positioned behind the lower pelvis. Enabling a straight-legged gait, that way enabled back muscles to support an upright spine but the new study shows it would not have impeded its ability to walk upright in a human-like fashion. She also did not have dagger-like canine teeth of chimpanzees. Artie's snout was prognathous. After analyzing Artie, scientists were surprised to reveal her neither chimpanzee nor human nature. 